Hey, it is Andy with the Fence Post Indie Music and Viral Blog. Underachievers Please Try Harder is the second studio album from Scottish indie pop band Camera Obscura. It was originally released November 11, 2003 on Elephant Records out of Spain. Since the original CD and vinyl pressings, it's received worldwide release, including Japan on Imperial Records and Merge in the United States, among a handful of others. 20 years later, there have only been two vinyl pressings, one on its original label in 2003, and this right here, which is the 2008 Merge pressing. Given that we are at the 20th anniversary milestone, I wouldn't be surprised if sometime this year or very shortly thereafter, we'll see another pressing on Merge. But then again, lead singer Tracy Ann Campbell has been teasing a vinyl reissue of the band's long, long out of print debut LP, Bigger Blue or Hi-Fi, for a few years now. So, we'll see. Alas, I'm here to talk about Underachievers, please try harder. The album features several of my favorite tracks from the band, including some that drew me to Camera Obscura in the first place. Songs like Teenager, Suspended from Class, those two really kind of hit that note early on in my discovery of the band. And then there was Lunar Sea, which drew me in for a slightly different reason. With male vocals, as opposed to Tracy Ann Campbell taking lead, it kind of always had this Leonard Cohen-esque sound to it. The first two were released as singles. Teenager was released as a 7-inch in 2002, while Suspended from Class was released as a CD single in 2003. Books Written for Girls was also released as a 7-inch in 2004. Underachievers Please Try Harder has a certain charm to it that only a specific style of indie pop can achieve. In fact, early Camera Obscura harkened back to the earlier days of fellow contemporary Scottish indie pop band Bell and Sebastian. So much so that I'm continually surprised it wasn't released in the late 90s. In fact, Bell and Sebastian band leader Stuart Murdoch is credited as the photographer on the album. This album was produced by Jeff Allen, who has worked with bands like Arab Strap, The Gentle Waves, and uh, even Isabel Campbell on the production end. And you can add to it Delgado's Mogwai Mercury Rev on the technical side. That's a pretty decent list of bands. Ultimately, the result is reminiscent of other indie pop bands like the aforementioned Bell and Sebastian, obviously, or even the Magnetic Fields. Tracy Ann Campbell's melancholic yet romantic-tinged vocals and poetic songwriting often explore themes of love and loss and longing. Both sweet and soulful, she built upon what originated in Biggest Bluest Hi-Fi, heightening the production value and resulting in something a bit more Baroque than twee, yet flirting with both. The indie pop sound remained a defining characteristic of Camera Obscura's sound and continued on throughout the band's career and tenure. Overall, Underachievers Please Try Harder is a charming, melodic indie pop album that finds Camera Obscura pretty much at their height. Yes, the albums that padded on either side are phenomenal. Biggest Blue is Hi-Fi coming out in 2001, and Let's Get Out of This Country in 2006. And while that which came after that 2006 LP was pretty decent, it was never, in my opinion, as great as those early albums. They never seemed to regain that seemingly effortless style they achieved with these first three. This one, of course, being right there in the middle. Let's take a look at my copy, which is, once again, the 2008 pressing on Merge Records. This is credited as a reissue that was remastered, so it may have some slight production value that's a little bit different than the original pressing. It comes on a standard single sleeve. There's not much difference between this and other versions you'd see on vinyl or CD. 
On the back, however, you're going to have a few different call-outs. You've got the barcode up there, you've got merge records down here, but overall it's the same aesthetic. Once again, you have Tracy Ann Campbell and Carrie Lander on the back as well, the latter of which passed away sadly in 2015. The album does come with a nice printed inner sleeve. On one side you have the band in this, well, highly edited, quite pixelated black and white image. And the back is lyrics from all the songs on the album. This did come on standard black wax. It does feel a little bit thicker. I don't know if it's quite 180 grams, but it sure feels like it could be close. When you look back at Camera Obscura, where does Underachievers Please Try Harder fall in your list of favorite albums by the band? For me, it's a very close second, only to Let's Get Out of This Country. Let me know where it falls for you in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.